morning everyone it's Karen Jean from Ex Libra's Crafts and welcome back to the channel. We are here outside of the craft room. I live in a Cape Cod and this is up on the second floor so it has the slanted ceilings. And let's go in. This is January 2021 and let's take a look and see what's been going on in here. As I pan over to the right not much has changed over here. I'm going to take a step back so you can see, I have a new die cut and embossing machine. I got that at Tuesday morning for $40. And I like it because it's a metal. It has a metal plate. So I don't necessarily have to tape down the dies on the paper because the dies um, stick to the metal plate. So, oh, toolbox needs to go downstairs. So let's just go take a look over here. This is, it's a funky house. That's a closet. And I'll show you what I've done in there a little bit. The um, Nothing's changed over here. I have the Ikea pegboard system, the shelves. And in here, these are the grids that I used to have sitting behind me, behind my craft space. And I moved them in here because I got new bookcases to organize over there. So I put them in here just to try to organize a little bit. Um, obviously, mailing stuff, empty cereal boxes and whatnot to make journals with. Some storage things that I was using um, that I don't use anymore. These here are new. I just got these from scrapbook.com when they were on sale. This is their 6x6 six six paper pad storage. You can put it down. You can put it up. Um, not quite sure, not quite sure what, if anything, I'm going to do with those. Um, this, I used this a lot when I was downstairs, when the craft room was downstairs in the dining room. Um, that's mostly what's in here is the stuff I used down there for that space. A bookcase, which, and these are books that I use when, um, let's see if I can get there. Green paper music paper um the color me book has lots of nice stuff in that that pepperidge farm cookbook i love it um and uh, you know old dictionaries that i use to vandalize vandalize them and this here is an empty the empty um rack that i had so over here is <laughs> the day bed that we pull down whenever we have company, the TV, that stuff on top of there I need to put away or get rid of. Over here is um, most of my fabric. It's not all my fabric, but it's most of my fabric. It's apparel fabric. There's a lot of cozy fleece on there and uh, um, it's, uh, flannel. There's also a lot of cotton on there for quilting. And I use the cotton for book covers as well. And up on the wall is one of those art thin things, uh, vinyl roll storage. And I wanted it for the wall because what I have there, and I'll come closer. I don't use it for vinyl. I don't have a Cricut. But this here is um, wrap, Italian wrapping paper. So that's really nice for pages in a journal. This is actually paper, if you can see that. That's actually the paper that came, I ordered online from Macy's. They had a really good special from a purse, a tote. And that's all the packing paper that came with it. So here's a roll of wrapping paper I bought to use for journals. This is a Jane Davenport um, paper using for journals. And this here stuff is a uh, contact paper. Whoops, ah, that I got at the Dollar Tree um, for journals. Okay, this is um, an old thing of mine. As you can see, it holds a glue gun. It has its own electricity. You can plug that in, and that's what that's made for, is for a glue gun. And this is for your heat tool for embossing, um, which I don't use. I used it somewhat, but I don't. And this is the view of the workspace. Let me back up here. My head's hitting the ceiling, slanted ceilings. Air conditioner, very important in this room. 
my uh, sign for craft fairs. Paper storage. So let's go over here. This is a craft table. As you can see, that can swing open. Has my rotary cutter here. Love this thing. This is just a bucket of, that's, this is something else. Um, paper, big paper scraps. Like when I'm over here cutting, that's where I put them. Of course, I have this new rule, no more scraps when I'm making a journal. So this is a large pad of Bristol paper I got from Amazon for card making. It's um, very, very smooth. So I'm giving that a try. Over here is my desk. Where, the, where all the magic happens, right? My tools. Remote for the TV. The arm for the camera for when I'm videoing, making videos. Fan, also something else very, very important. This is just um, scraps. The most recent journal I was working on, I was um, using paint chips from the store and die cutting flowers and stuff out of them. And then right here is the pot lid rack that has um, those things that I need at hand all the time. My miniature scoreboard, my envelope punch board, my MacBook, my large planner, and this is real estate stuff. And this is my wallet and real estate stuff. Uh, this is one of my prayer books, Book of Common Prayer. And this is my own personal um, little uh, art journal that I've been working on. So that's just my journal entries. And um, I don't know if you, you might want to consider this a glue book. These pages are, are thin. So what I do is before I do anything with them, I glue two pages together um, because they're pretty thin. So, so that's that. These are obvious. These are um, edging scissors, right? My inks, Distress Oxides, Simon Hurley's and some other things. Now, people have asked before, if you go to the Ranger website, it might be Ranger Ink or Ranger or Tonic Studios, I'm not sure. The labels there, that's a free download. And that's exactly how they come. They, that's the print they come with, the color, and the Simon Hurley. So all inks, like Archival Ink, Simon Hurley, Ranger, any any other inks that Tonic Studio slash Ranger make, you can get those free download labels, stickers. It's, it's a PDF file and you just print it out on. I print it out on sticker paper and then cut it. Blending tools, my ribbon. I get a lot of comments about that. I'm gonna take a sit down here. This, um, so this is why I did this. Let me back up here. These two cubes, bookcase cubes, I was going to get a Calyx unit at Ikea, and then, of course, once again, they're sold out. So I went to Target to look for a threshold, and they had these. They didn't have a larger one. They had these two smaller ones. So um, that's what I purchased, because this desk here, this Michael's desk, used to be over here. And what I had against this wall was were those grids, which weren't working for me. So... I have this, and up here, this is um, water, my daughter gave me my, the big box of watercolors that I asked for for Christmas, very excited about that, watercolor paper, that's oil pastels, um, this is some of the plates for this mini um, Spellbinders prism, it's, it's a tiny, it's like two inch wide, so it's, you know, if you're doing something small, it's nice to have at hand watercolor brushes and stuff my brushes and down here I did a video on this that I got at um, Harbor Freight for ten dollars and it's holding a lot a lot of my charms and stuff and uh, that uh, binder has all my stencils in it and some things so here's my ephemera the photo things has ephemera in it this here has uh, uh, 
Ranger or Tim Holtz guillotine cutter. I don't use it that much. I might be too small. A large Wendy Vecchi make art thing. I have a smaller one next to me. And this is the Tonic Studios stamping tool. Um, in a drawer next to me, over here is where I have my, a small, I got the smaller make art one because the larger one was just getting in my way. Uh, the Fisk Burrs trimmer, my Misty, and my Crocodile and um, stuff. So that's right there. And I had to be careful not to keep any magnets by my MacBook. I just got that MacBook. Um, little drawers on top that have all not knickknacks, things like the, oh, these over here I have a lot of rhinestones that I use, some labels, my paper flowers, I use those a lot, uh, sequins here. And the bottom drawer over here is where I keep oh, glitter, um, other sequins, uh, texture pastes. These are all, these are all texture pastes too. Um, these are, this is glitter. And what I've done is in this drawer here, I have my, all my liquid pearls and my Nuvo drops. So I use the lids, see, I've used the lids here to help keep things organized as well. So this is, uh, just a lot of my sticker collection and back there. Uh, some eight and a half by 11 paper that's already printed. My hand dyed papers here that I make myself. Uh, vellum, acetate, and other things. This is all my, t most of my 12 by 12 paper in pads here. Um, down there is some foam and some calendars and stuff. Uh, my drawers over here, they're all labeled. <coughs> My rubber stamps are there, my lace is there, uh, things like that. Um, the two bins on top are my washi tapes. Nothing's really changed much with these drawers. There's my sewing machine, and I have two Ikea pegboards behind it, which I haven't really done much oh, excuse, much with yet. And we swing over here. That thing back there with the rainbow drawers is empty at this point. Um, that that is a very old iPhone with a um, speaker alarm clock system I got years ago. I don't know how to you program it or anything, but that old iPhone has music on it that I no longer have on my computer. So that is why that's there. So I can listen to some of my old music. That box has cards that I made. This is my cart. <clears throat> my towels. Oh. I, that's open. <coughs> Excuse me. My colored pencils, which I think I'll take out and put something in. Um, this is just supplies. And then there's that unit. Uh, my These are two 8.5 by 11 card stocks that there's 12 by 12 uh, card stock. And it's a mixture. It's like here, the pink. We have that that there, which is pink and purple. We have pink flowers, and then we might have just plain pink as, as well. Up top here is all my um, my pre-cut card bases and some cardstock for the uh, backgrounds. These are all my stamps, my polymer stamps. Uh, these are the Simon Hurley stuff that are wider, and it's also um, some delusions, the bigger ones that don't fit in those smaller things. This here is all my 6x6 six six paper, my iPad. And uh, that's just about everything. This here little box has little journals and things that I've made that I haven't, or partially made, I really haven't done anything with, just having a little, this is a little garden journal that I might be done with. I don't know. I have to see. And those there are my journals that I have completed. Down, it's all just storage down there. And this one has my uh, acrylic paints. 
Oh, there's my matte medium. I was looking for that the other day. Uh, extra glues and stuff. And then in this other closet here, yeah, this room has two closets. Let's take a look and see what we got. We have uh, this, which is just stuff that I really don't use or don't need at my fingertips. Uh, tissue paper, little composition books that to decorate. And over here, it's a vacuum cleaner, one of the, my sewing machines, another drawer unit that just has supplies in it that I have extras. And back there is just, over here are some, <laughs> over there. Those are some dresses that I made for little girls out of men's shirts. I did this, oh gosh, I don't know how many years ago. Um, they're really cute. So, and that in there is a wedding dress I made for a friend of mine who, um, when she died, her husband gave the dress back to me. So, that is, that's the craft room. Um, always, you know, always being changed. Like things up here. This bin is ephemera that I need to put away. Buy this stuff when it's on clearance. This here, these are my little bins. My uh, rhinestones, lace trims, and fabric scraps that I pull out when I'm making journals. And this is just storage drawers. That, yeah. So there we have it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, well, so this is my craft space, my studio, my happy place. I hope this might inspire some of you, maybe give you some ideas. I don't know. Well, we could take a quick clue. I, I, the last video I did, I had, I took a look at... Um, I changed just a little bit. We went through the drawers and I changed just a little bit. This top drawer is the same. This is all my um, Ranger little tools. These uh, were, no, those I've had. But like these cubes, which aren't even open yet, I got at Tuesday morning recently. So they're there. The second drawer is Simon Hurley. Again, here's an upside down lid. I got these scrapbook.com reinkers, but they don't work the way, like if I had a Distress Oxide reinker to play with, like paint, I can't figure it out. These are my Simon Hurleys. And this is what I use for, these are perfect. These are silicone ice cube trays. I got them on Amazon. They come three to a package right here. All right, here you go, three of them to a package and they fit the blending tools wonderfully and I put a little piece of paper in there um, just to keep things neat and this is my finger daubers this is my brayer <clears throat> that's all that's in that drawer this drawer I already showed oh no this is my embossing drawer so before I had these embossing powders up there and that thing and then it didn't make any sense to me so I have them down here um, the uh, just measuring, you know, measuring spoons, the tool, mainly this is cornstarch and this I bought, it's probably cornstarch too, I don't know. This is um, super fine clear, that's what I use practically all the time. Uh, coffee filters, uh, something else is back there, what is that? Oh, more. Uh, super fine clear there we go it must have been on sale when I bought it down here I showed you is the measuring and stuff this here is my alcohol ink drawer here are all my alcohol inks this is a silicone welding pad that I use as a mat for the alcohol inks alcohol ink paper stuff like that over here is my tapes, um, mint tape, post-it note tape, hefty doodle, double-sided adhesives, um, 
these I'm um, going to start. I just got these, the uh, sticky grid sheets. The come, I understand they're very, very helpful um, in your stamping tools. And my scrapbook.com, double-sided tape, my Tyvek tape. This is, well, that's the mouse for my MacBook. This is more watercolors. The watercolors that I had before my daughter got me those for Christmas. And again, the drops, you've seen those. This is fabric flowers, bulb pins, some rhinestones here, uh, more bulb pins, lots of bulb pins, uh, bull nose clips, things like that for journals. And then again, all the glitter and glam. So there we go. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. I have to hang that picture. Hope you've enjoyed this little tour. Let's go back over here, see a pretty view. There we go. Uh, there we go. Please comment below if there's anything that you'd like to see or any videos that you'd like to see me make. Remember, I do um, make journals, I do cards, and I just have a lot of fun with paper and fabric. So please, we're only limited by our own imaginations. Let yours run wild. Thanks for stopping by.